Today's college kids lack empathy. This lesson is an English audio lesson from MSNBC about how U.S. college students lack empathy. This is a great way for you to practice your English listening skills. For those of you who have class with me, please listen to the story at least 10 times before class and 10 times after class. For those that don't have class with me, here's what I want you to do. Number one, listen to everything once. Number two, listen again. Listening to shorter material more often is more beneficial than listening once or twice to something longer. Number three, listen a third time, but stop the audio after every five seconds. When you stop the audio, write down one key point or key word that you heard. Number four, listen a fourth time. Stop the audio after every five seconds to check your answers, then hide those answers. Number five, listen a fifth time. Stop the audio after every ten seconds. Write down the key points or keywords that you heard. Check your answers from step number four. And finally, number six, listen again. You should be able to hear more than the first time you listen to the audio. If you still have trouble, please ask me your questions in the comments section and I will help you. Thanks and good luck. All about me? College kids lack empathy. Compared to 30 years ago, it's all about me now, study finds. By Gianna Briner. College students today are less likely to get the emotions of others than their counterparts 20 and 30 years ago, a new review study suggests. Specifically, today's students scored 40% lower on a measure of empathy than their elders did. The findings are based on a review of 72 studies of 14,000 American college students overall conducted between 1979 and 2009. We found the biggest drop in empathy after the year 2000, said Sarah Conrath a researcher at the University of Michigan's Institute for Social Research. The study was presented this week at the annual meeting of the Association for Psychological Science in Boston. Is Generation Me all about me? Compared with college students of the late 1970s, current students are less likely to agree with statements such as, I sometimes try to understand my friends better by imagining how things look from their perspective, and I often have tender, concerned feelings for people less fortunate than me.